Welcome. In this session, we'll explore some computer-generated examples of fixed-step Cebus descent. So what we'll do is we'll start out with a quadratic form, which is uh, where the symmetric matrix is very simple. This produces a paraboloid, but instead of being a paraboloid that's a surface of revolution, it looks squished in one direction. And when we take the contours, what we see is this uh, is that instead of being circles, these are now ellipses. So let's start off at this point. When we do this, what we discover is that the descent direction is orthogonal to the contours. That will later turn out to be an important matter. And if we then take a slice in that direction, we see that because this is a quadratic function, that the slice is a quadratic, and we could use an approximation method if we chose. So this now gives us a scalar problem. Once we've picked the direction, now taking a step along that is just like being back in scalar land. If we wanted to use a different method, we could do something called coordinate descent, and that would be picking either the W1 direction or the W2 direction, depending on which one provides us with the greatest improvement locally. And if we did that, because this is a quadratic function, we also see that this has a quadratic cross-section. So this is also giving us a scalar problem. Now let's try a large step size, which we might try for fast computations. And let's also consider a smaller step size that we might want to use if we want improved accuracy. What we see now that we have a function that has a vector argument is something that we didn't see in the scalar world nearly as often, and this happens most of the time uh, in vector arguments. What we're seeing is that this is now oscillating around the um, around an approach towards that minimizer. If we were to take a small step size, we would see as in as we saw in scalar land that it's moving slowly and how it's not only moving slowly it's moving in a curved manner so the behavior is much more complicated in um, with a, a two size two vector than we had with a scalar